Hey guys and gals, welcome to the channel. My name is Jesse Kublikan Hoff. Thanks for tuning in. So today I want to talk a little bit about how we would wire a larger system. Uh, in my other videos on YouTube, the system that I put on that house is much smaller. It was only about six panels. This roof that I just got done with has 30 panels on the roof. It's an 8.25 kilowatt system, much larger. There's a little bit more of a design consideration when you do a system this large. And I want to tell you, explain a little bit how we would wire a system that big. But most of the design constraints that happen are because of the inverter. The inverter has a maximum, this particular inverter has a maximum of 600 volts that I can put into it. So what I had to do is make two strings. And let me show you what I'm talking about here with the system. So for example, I can't just wire all 30 panels. I have um, 18 panels over here, 12 panels over here for a total of 30. I can't just wire all these in series. So what I have to do is I have to take 15 panels from this side and take the 12 over here and connect these three in series. And if that makes sense. So I have two different strings of panels. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 15 to that one right there. And then these three, one, two, three, and these 12 over there are linked in series. So that's two strings, okay? So I have a total of four home runs. I run it through conduit over to a junction box, and I still have four home runs coming into this box and a ground wire. My four home runs come all the way down to this conduit into this LB and into the inverter, which is down over here. And I'll show you that in a second. And let me just explain a little further about um, why we can't just wire all 30 in series. So once again, the inverter has a maximum voltage of 600 volts, okay? Each one of these panels has an open circuit voltage of 38.9. If we multiply 38.9 by 15, we get about 583 volts, which is underneath um, the maximum allowable voltage of that inverter. So that's why I had to do two strings, okay? I'm not gonna really talk about inverter clipping right now, but um, let me also talk about the home runs, okay? So I got one home run here at this pan on this panel, okay? Home runs, we also refer to as like the ends of the leads, okay? There's a positive and negative, right? A home run. After you connect all those panels in series, all the way down here, all the way to this panel right here. I have another home run underneath this panel, okay? I also have another home run underneath this panel. And then I connect all three of these in series. That's what the conduit is for. And I link it up with these 12, okay? And I have a home run underneath this panel here. And as you can see, I kind of have the home run hanging out because I just plugged it in, just turned the system on. It's working great. And, uh, yeah, that was, that's about it. I want to show you the inverter though, really quick. So now we're on the opposite side of the house. I just wanted to show you guys, it's a really well laid out system. So I can kind of just go into the box and show you what's going on there. Also want to talk a little bit about how to wire up a PV production meter. This is the meter that where the utility will measure the amount of um, uh, energy that the system produces, okay? And different utilities want you to wire it in different ways. So I want to talk about that a little bit. But I also, you know, I just want to show you what's going on here. So I just turned on this system about like 10 minutes ago. It's producing 1,750 watts at this moment. And like I said, it's about five o'clock, so the sun's really low. Uh, but yeah, really uh, almost produced a kilowatt hour already. So there's our, the system. You can see the inverter. We come down, hit the inverter. Get this disconnect right here. Talk a little bit about that. That's how that's wired up. And then we hit the production meter. Production meter comes down, then some conduit bends with EMT, come through the house into another junction box, straight into the panel, okay? So let's talk just a little bit about how to wire up a production meter. Once again, this is the production meter that the utility will um, install the final meter into that. So some utilities, and if you're fortunate enough to live in the Roaring Fork Valley over here by uh, Carbondale, Colorado, um, Holy Cross is a very popular uh, big utility out here. They want you to wire, Holy Cross does, 
they want you from their panel, they want their wires, their production to go to the top of the production meter, okay? To the line side. And then, you know, that kind of makes sense, right? I guess the, the panels are kind of like a load, you know? This inverter is a load. So everything else kind of makes sense. But if you have Excel, the utility Excel, they want you to wire the production meter the, the opposite way. They want their power coming from the panel to go to the load side, the bottom. So you're gonna have to check with your separate utility about how they want you to wire it. All right, here's my ground wire coming through here. And then it kind of gets a little confusing since we're kind of confusing, right? Line and load. Since um, I just try to keep everything consistent. If that's the line, if I'm coming up to the line side of the production meter, then in my disconnect, I also kind of stay consistent with that. And I try to keep that as the line side also through my disconnect all the way to my inverter. And there's my DC disco. Labels are also important. I will point out some labels that we use on pretty much all our systems. Uh, photovoltaic meter, we label that pretty well. The AC disconnect we label. We also will label this DC disco disconnect. I couldn't really fit it on this sunny boy, so I put the disconnect label up here. Another label I like to point out, you know, this is another label that I um, that we had made at a sign company. Uh, Holy Cross, the utility here, uh, likes these labels on the meter. If the um, uh, main meter is on like a uh, very far away, more than 10 feet away from all this stuff, which it is. You now our main meter is all the way over there. Uh, another label I'd like to point out is I usually label the conduit too. This is a DC photovoltaic circuit. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, please subscribe or comment or like the video. I'd really appreciate it. You know, I kind of like making these videos. I put these solar systems on people's houses for a living, but I also like making videos and. By commenting and subscribing and liking the video, you kind of help support me make these videos. So, um, yeah, please feel free. Any questions also, shoot them at me. And, um, yeah, see you next time.